Good morning everybody and welcome to our assembly. I was actually just thinking that one of the things I actually quite miss about our assemblies is hearing everybody echo back good morning so I'm imagining you doing that uh, right now when I say good morning to you. Okay we've got a couple of things to do. Well, I've got something to share with you and I've got house points and I've got um, stars of the week. So let's do sharing first. I've got this really brilliant book. Isn't that lovely? And this is by year one. And they've uh, illustrated a poem. They've illustrated the poem, What a Wonderful World. Or it's a song really, isn't it? So there we are, What a Wonderful World by Cowslip Class. And look at the beautiful illustrations. I see long wavy grass. And tall mountains too. I see birds fly in the sky. I see bright flowers for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see the sun high in the sky. And trees waving in the wind. I see the moon shining and sleeping for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see cars on the road zooming really fast. That's a brilliant picture, that is. I see people walking in the path. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Aren't they absolutely brilliant illustrations by Cowslip Class? Can we give Cowslip Class a massive round of applause? That's excellent. I was thinking about uh, uh, Louis Armstrong singing that song. Beautiful rendition of that beautiful song. Thank you very much, Cowslip Class. Okay, let's do Stars of the Week. And we have in Hot Class, Ava, for in her enthusiasm to learn a new phoneme each day. Well done, Ava. A new phoneme each day, that's brilliant. And Ellis, for identifying a daily phoneme in different words and objects. So well done, Ava and Ellis. Round of applause for them. And in Bramble class, we have Jet and Scarlet for their incredible drawings of a stegosaurus displaying high levels of engagement and focus. Well done, brilliant, incredible drawings of a stegosaurus. That sounds fantastic. Stegosaurus is one of my favorite uh, dinosaurs, second favorite dinosaur, Triceratops is my favorite. So well done, Jet and Scarlet. Round of applause for them. In year one, we have Matilda for being a fantastic role model for her peers and following the golden rules and Teddy for a fantastic attitude to learning this week and showing great progress in writing. So well done Matilda and Teddy, round of applause for them. And in Daisy class we have Harley for being an excellent role model and friend, very important, and Parker for doing everything with maximum effort and a smile on his face, fantastic, well done. And moving on to year two, Snowdrop class. I didn't do a round of applause for you, those two in year one, did I? So let's have a round of applause for them. And let's go on to Snowdrop class now. So we have Darcy for trying so hard to apply her phonics in her writing and practicing at home. That's brilliant, Darcy. Well done. And Charlotte for settling into Snowdrop class brilliantly this week. Well done, Charlotte. Round of applause. And in... Travellers Joy class, we have Annabelle 
and Iris for being so kind, helpful and caring towards their friends. Remembering their new medical routines. Well, that's really, really helpful. Thank you so much, Annabelle and Iris. Let's give them a round of applause. Moving on to year three. We have Teddy for trying hard in his maths and Martinique for always having a positive attitude towards learning. Thank you very much, Teddy and Martinique. Round of applause. And in Foxglove Cast, we have Madaf and Ryan for their excellent work in maths. So well done, Madaf and Ryan. Let's give them a round of applause. And in year four, we have Isabella for imaginative and well thought out writing and Harry for being very intelligent participation in class discussions. That's really helpful. That's helpful to everybody if people are intelligently uh, involving themselves in class discussions. So well done, Isabella and Harry. And in Campion, a uh, round of applause for Isabella and Harry. In Campion, we have Nin for reading and answering questions well and Maya for being focused in her learning and always producing learning of high quality. Fantastic. Well done those two, Nin and Maya. Round of applause for those two. And moving on to year five, we have in Ivy class, Gracie May and Jake for both for consistent, excellent behaviour and attitude towards learning. Well done those two. That's brilliant. That's really nice to hear. And in Mistletoe class, we have Griff and Jake for consistent hard work this half term. So well done, Griff and Jake. Round of applause. I don't think I had a round of applause for Gracie and uh, May and Jake either, did we? So let's have a round of applause for those two as well. And moving up into year six, we have Thomas and Holly. And their reason is excellent leadership skills and good planning. They were two excellent coaches of their peers in PE on Thursday morning. So well done, Thomas and Holly. That's really nice to hear. And in Bluebell class, round of applause for Thomas and Holly. And in Bluebell class, we have Callista for working really hard in maths groups, great attitude and enthusiasm, and Chloe for great teamwork on completing the Andon Shelter, despite initial problems. Getting over initial problems is really important. So well done Chloe and well done Callista. Let's give those two a round of applause. Excellent. So, golden rules. Lots of those people here have been uh, sharing their golden rules, sharing, being respectful being kind. So thank you very much and lots of people here have been following our golden rules and getting house points. So let's start with Wells House on 102. Let's give Wells House a round of applause. And just eight behind Wells House is Blackman House. Let's give Blackman House a round of applause. And there's a bit of a gap between uh, Wells and Blackman and the other two houses. So perhaps Wells and Blackman make sure next time when you're following the golden rules, there's, a, there's an adult watching so you can get some house points. OK, 49 points ahead of Wells House was Darwin House and 151. Well done, Darwin House. And 21 uh, house points, which is quite a lot of house points. So well done, this house uh, on 172. And traditionally, this house that doesn't hasn't done very well for whatever reason. I don't know why. As Crompton House on 172, so well done, Crompton House. You win the House Cup this week. So well done, everybody there. And thank you so much for the House Captains for collecting the house points. Okay. This week was the start of Black History Month, and um, shared a poem in, on Monday about by Mayor Angelou, which was very appropriate for our times. And um, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, found out some more stuff about Maya Angelou. And I also shared some uh, poetry last Friday by one of my favourite poets, Langston Hughes, who is a really very important poet. And uh, I hope you've uh, looked at some of his poetry and looked at his biography as well. So uh, I hope everybody has a really good week, enjoys their weekend. And uh, I continue to be so proud and impressed by how hard everybody's working in such difficult times and how everybody, how well we're following our golden rules and 
how thoughtful and sensible and kind we're being. So thank you very much. Have a really good week.